if you have a tattoo, you have a 25% increased risk of getting a bloodborne cancer, specifically lymphoma. And that's the minimum. The more tattoos you get, the higher the risk. This from a new study that came out of Sweden. And as you guys know, I got a lot of tattoos that I've gotten over the years. It's not good, all right? Now, this news, there's been a lot of studies that have kind of talked about the amount of carcinogens that are in the tattoo ink and different cancers that it can cause. There's never been anything really definitive until now. This study that came out right now in 2024 looked at all of the people specifically that got this type of bloodborne cancer called lymphoma, right? It's a cancer of the lymph nodes. And they found a 25 to 30% increased risk for those that had tattoos. So much so that when they looked at people that got lymphoma in the first two years after receiving a tattoo, they found that you had an 81% increased risk of developing lymphoma. It's going back to the chemical content inside the ink. There's a bunch of carcinogens and other crazy shit in there. This is not something like, oh, well, I can choose specific type of ink or something. No, this is broad. It's been used everywhere, even in Europe. Like I said, this, this study is from Sweden. So the study adjusted for several lifestyle factors, including smoking, socioeconomical status, and etc. So you can't say, oh, well, maybe it's a correlation, not a causation. No, this is a causation. This is pretty serious. Now, if you're thinking, hey, I'll go ahead and start getting these tattoos lasered off, which is something I've considered. Well, guess what? That makes it even worse because the laser lasers into the tattoo and it breaks up that pigment that then goes into your bloodstream and goes up to your lymph nodes. And that's where the cancer can hit. You know, it's sad because it seems like so many damn things nowadays can give you cancer. And this is not one that's helping. You know, I got a few tattoos, you know, on my fingers. But guess what? I see some people that are covered head to toe. And those are the people I don't feel good for, you know. Now, you might be thinking lymphoma. What are signs of that I have lymphoma? What, what exactly is lymphoma? Well, what's the survivability? Well, specifically, the survivability, even if it was advanced, like a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, survivability rate is still over 60%. So it's not horrible. If you find it in time, you got a good chance of making it. So what are some of the symptoms of Hodgkin's, not Hodgkin's lymphoma, whatever. You see, we're talking about fever, night sweats, fatigue, itchy skin, painless, painless swelling of lymph nodes in the belly, neck, armpits, or groin, pain in your chest, abdomen, or bones, losing weight without trying. Losing weight without trying. <laughs> I could use some of that. I tell you what. Um, the biggest one is swelling in the lymph nodes. You understand? This is a common thing if you go to the doctor you see the doctor what do they do they put the hand there they want to feel the lymph nodes here there and other places in your body like i said the neck the armpits the groin you check those so if you start having some swelling in lymph nodes that may be a sign again if you get sick your lymph nodes often will flare up so it doesn't necessarily like oh man my lymph nodes are swollen i got cancer it doesn't have to be that way because there's also you know i, I used to have them really swollen for that kissing disease what do you call it mononucleosis that swells them up. So, insomma, if you are planning on getting more tattoos, think again, at least if you're concerned about your health. And if you were thinking about lasering them off, you might want to reconsider. This is what kind of sucks if you had an ongoing project and you were like, ah, oh, you know what? I got this tattoo, this tattoo. Eventually, I'm going to get a sleeve. This is something that I was thinking about. But now, with this news and things that, again, I already suspected this kind of thing. I may reconsider. I may think, you know, let me just stick to what I have and not disturb it any further by either getting more or getting it lasered off. I don't know. Do you have tattoos? How do you feel about this news?